Okay, this section is about the dot product. So let me begin by telling you what the dot product is. Uh, first, if we have, say, two two-dimensional vectors, say A and B, then the dot product is written this way, A dot B equals um, first component times the first component plus the second component times the second component. If we have three-dimensional vectors, it, it works in a similar way, namely if I have A1, A2, A3, and B1, B2, B3, then A dot B is just this, so that's not a big deal. Of course, this begs the question, why would you bother to define such a thing? But just to make sure we're on the same page, let me do a quick example with actual numbers. So if A and B are these two vectors, then a dot b is 2 times 1 plus negative 1 times 2, negative 2, plus 4 times negative 3, negative 12, so we get negative 12. Now let me tell you the simplest reason why the dot product is important. The dot product is important because it gives us a nice formula for the length of the sum of two vectors. So the sum of two vectors is this very geometric thing defined by taking one vector from tail to tip, tail to tip. And so the length of this represents something important. I'm going to deal with the length squared. And the dot product arises in a very natural way by trying to write down a simpler formula for this. So let's see, what do we have? So if A is A1, A2, A3, and again this works in two dimensions just fine just by getting rid of the third component, and B is B1, B2, B3, Then the sum of these two things is a1 plus b1, comma a2 plus b2, a3 plus b3. And I'm taking the length of that squared, so I take each component squared and add that up. And now we have to go through all this business of expanding these, and we only have to do this once, because the formula we get is nice. It's nice enough that we can just use the dot product once we see where it comes into play. And notice what we have here. Um, a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared is the length of a squared. Uh, b1 squared plus b2 squared plus b3 squared is the length of b squared. And then the stuff we have left, 2a1, b1, 2a2, b2, 2a3, b3, that's two times the dot product of a and b. So the dot product gives us this way of writing the length of a plus b squared, we can write it just using all of this vector notation. So we have the length of something squared plus a dot product plus a length of something. We don't have to write out any components. This notation is so nice that we can use it to solve a simple geometric problem. So here's a problem. Given a line and a point P not on that line, find the point on the line that is closest to P. So the picture, we have a line point, 
and well, the point is what you get by by drawing a perpendicular to the line. But let's sort of solve this in vector language. So let's instead think of a line through the origin, and it has a certain direction. So let me use B, the vector B, giving the direction of this line. And we'll have our point P be given as a position vector. Now, points on this line are all multiples of b. Points on the line look like t times the vector b. And we want to find the point on this line that's closest to this vector a. So find t so that this length is as small as possible. So this is the problem, and now it's all written in this vector language, I don't have to draw a picture anymore, and now it's just sort of an algebra problem. And I can use that formula I wrote before to write, to write this using lengths of things and the dot product. So this And, well, it helps to remember what the dot product looks like. You have to think about what effect multiplying by this negative t has. So I have a1, a2 dot negative t, v1, negative t, v2. But when you compute this, you're doing this times this plus this times this. Everything will have a negative t in front of it. So it's not hard to believe negative 2t a dot b. And also, in this formula, we get a t squared times the length of b. So this is what we have, and we want to we want to find the value of t that makes this as small as possible, but think about what we have here. We just have, uh, this is a number, these are numbers, and this is a number. We have a quadratic in t. The coefficient of t squared is positive as long as b isn't zero. Just finding the minimum value of this, of this upward facing parabola. So if you remember from Calc 1, we take the derivative and set it equal to zero, or you can just know properties of parabolas, either way it works. The derivative of this expression is going to be negative 2a dot b plus 2t times the length of b squared. t equals a dot b divided by the length of b squared. Right, so here I've rewritten the answer, and and what this says is that, well, t times b gives you the point on that line determined by b that's uh, the closest to a. And we have a special name for this. This is the projection of of a onto b. And closely related to this, we have the component of A in the direction of B. So the direction of B is what we think of as sort of the unit vector pointing in the same direction as B. And so you have to think, um, we could think of this right here as a dot b over the length of b times the unit vector pointing in the same direction as b. So the component of a in the direction of b is just what we're multiplying this unit vector by. So it's a dot b divided by the length of b.